And tonight, our senior reporter Eileen Buckley taking a closer look at how the Buffalo Public School District is preparing for the winter surge. There is no justification at this point to be considering full remote instruction across district wide. There is mixed reaction to this letter that went out to Buffalo Public School families and staffers Monday. The letter states, due to the uncertainty of the COVID epidemic, the district is asking all students and staff to take home their laptops and iPads when they head home Thursday for the holiday break. We, we just want parents and families to enjoy their time off and please try not not to worry. Kate Hawk is on the executive board of the Buffalo Parent Teacher Organization. She says she supports Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash's decision to be prepared in case the pandemic worsens before students return January 3rd. We understand Dr. Cash's uh, concern and need to make sure that parents and families are prepared in case of some catastrophic worldwide uh, pandemic. But school board member Larry Scott disagrees, saying nothing is indicating the need to consider remote learning. To shut down the entire district, all of our schools, to me is a bigger decision. And given our current circumstances, I think the Board of Education needs to be involved in that decision. Have you heard from parents today about this? Yes, uh, starting last night, that anxiety of what's to come, um, the message um, triggered that anxiety of it sounds like we're getting ready to go remote and child care is obviously an issue if that happens. But the district letter says there is no decision or timetable to go remote. It's only to be prepared. But I think we're all concerned about what's going to happen over this long uh long break. Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Ramore says he thinks it's a very good idea for students and staffers to be prepared. What was your reaction to the letter that went out from the district? I thought it was uh, preventative. I thought it was a I thought it was a good idea. We always have to be prepared for the worst. You know, you don't wait until something has happened. Um, but I think what he did was um, was a good thing to do. The district declined our request for an interview, but noted the superintendent would be meeting with the district's medical advisory. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. Eileen, thank you. One other note concerning education tonight. All January Regents exams have now been canceled because of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. State Education Commissioner Betty Rosa making that announcement today. This applies to all Regents exams that were scheduled for next month. No decisions have been made regarding the June and August Regents exams or any other state assessment programs, but we'll continue to keep an eye on that for you.